and it was about the Aleph Institute. And um, I, I was so inspired by the message you had shared that the, the Rebbe's message was that bad people don't do bad things. It's good people that make mistakes. Yeah. And I thought that was a very powerful message. And the Rebbe had shared he wanted someone to start going to visit the prisons to, to give the prisoners an opportunity to do teshuva. And you took this opportunity to go visit the prisons and you created a huge organization now, the Aleph Institute. And I'll, just, I'll just tell you one point. Maybe one day we'll continue the conversation. So when the Rebbe gave this talk, he, at a later date when we started the uh, Aleph, he gave, I brought a, a, a group of prisoners from 20 different institutions. They gave us permission. We had a lot of credibility. And I brought them to Fabringen. It's, I'm not going to tell you all the stories of that because of my time constraint. Just so at that Fabringen, the Rebbe gave a talk. It was Shabbos of, Sh of Shuot. The Rebbe gave a talk about the first chapter of this, in the book of Ezekiel, which is the toughest chapter. It's called the Maisa Merkava. And he talked to me, talked about the rabbis. And he said, the rabbis, usually they sit on their laurels. You know, you got Smith 20 years ago. He still uh, so you got to do it again. And, learn. and he kind of laid out the rabbis because it's time when rabbis come. And he started talking about the prisoners. Same thing. And he said, there's a big question here. God loves us. He says, prison is a exile with the exile, within exile, triple exile. Why? First exile is the soul and the body. I'll really say so. So there's a cheap challenge to live in this animal. The second challenge is exile. We're in call this a world where we're under the jurisdiction of nations. Third exile is prison. It's such an exile that you don't even have to put him as a... That's how big of an exile it is. So how does Hashem send his people to go into such darkness because their objective of goal is to save the sparks to collect the energies that are here. So how to just send his beloved children? It says as follows. It's not a simple person that has to go to that space. Only very special neshamas, very souls, that Hashem has endowed the ability to go into absolute abstract darkness and to not only not get get underscored or under well overwhelmed by the darkness, but to transform that darkness to light that's the special people in this system. So all of a sudden, these prisoners, when we translate for them, they blew their minds. Says, Never heard of a rabbi. He's knocking the rabbis and uplifting the prisoners, you know. That's great. And, <laughs> and the rabbi did a few things that indicated his sensitivity to that. And the rabbi was so sensitive to another human being's emotions, to another human being's life, 